Hi! So now in this video we would like to talk about the third section of chapter 1 which is about Japan must plan for the future and say what must be said. Uh, it starts on page 30 if you have the book. In this section must start talk talking about um, Japanese company where make, uh, they make cameras but Master gives us like warning and he says, you know, these companies must consider how their products are ultimately used. I think this is one of the key points uh, in this section uh, because after that he talks about politicians as well. He says, it may be difficult to separate politics and economy, but considering Japan's power and its influential voice to speak out on the world stage, it should clearly voice what is right and what is wrong. And he also says, It is good that foreign investment comes in and creates new jobs to realize many people's economic prosperity, but it should be done only under the condition that citizens are not subdued under violence, tormented, oppressed, or treated less than human. People must not be treated this way. So here, our master is using camera as an example. Uh, he's warning us because these cameras ended up being used in totalitarian government as surveillance cameras. So based on the characteristics of totalitarianism, of secret police, of concentration camps and violence and suppression, mm -hmm. we can see that if we don't consider the consequences of our economic decisions, that can really, really influence different countries and their political systems too. So whilst it is difficult to separate politics and economics, we must not neglect what is happening in the world and how humans are being treated. So Master Okawa gives the example of Abraham Lincoln during the Civil War. On page 31, Master says that in the South, black people were made to do the work of picking cotton and were not treated as humans. People in the South saw black people as part of their property that was necessary for developing their cotton plantations so they fought the war. Abraham Lincoln did not want to have Americans fight each other but he thought about what justice was and concluded that it was not right to enslave humans perpetually. So he went to war. Over 610,000 people died in the war but I think Lincoln is now the most famous god in America. And I think this is because of what he's, he had in his mind, deep in his mind, was for the happiness of more people. So I think that's why he's now, you know, over time, people accept of the fact that he, uh, he is the hero of the United States. Mm. At Happy Science, we also advocate the principles of freedom democracy and faith mm -hmm. and that is why we must speak up now about the tendencies of totalitarianism mm -hmm. and warn companies or to let them know please think and do not ignore what is happening in the suppressed countries today only then can we protect these countries and stop the continuing communism, totalitarianism, and hegemony. He concludes this section by saying, I sincerely hope the Japanese politicians stop implementing policies that give them credit only during their terms and adopt a more universal way of thinking, a way of thinking that they believe is right from the perspective of 10 years, 20 years, or even further ahead. I think that concludes all of the topics that we mentioned. So we hope that through receiving this book, you can learn about the direction that Master Okawa is trying to guide humanity in, from the perspective of the future. We hope you enjoy uh, our other videos as well. So thank you for watching.